breaking news yes former arms director and senior pulmonologist dr randeep gulari on saturday said the new covid 19 sub variant gen 1 is more transmissible but is not causing severe infections or hospitalizations according to him the variant is gradually becoming dominant it is more transmissible spreading more rapidly and gradually becoming a dominant variant it is causing more infections but the data also suggests that it is not causing severe infections or hospitalization most of the symptoms are predominantly in the upper airways like fever cough cold sore throat running nose and body aches dr gulodia told news agency ni the gen 1 variant a descendant of the omicron virus has been classified as a variant of interest by the world health organizations however the global health body emphasizes that the overall risk posed by gen 1 remains lowest on current evidence according to india sars cov 2 genomics consortium chief dr n k arora they are said there is no need for a, an additional dose of vaccine against gen 1 at present i would say prevention is required for all those who are 60 years of age or older who are likely to have comorbidities and those who are on drugs that suppress our immunity like cancer patients if they have not taken precautions so far they can then they are advised to take precaution otherwise there is no need for any additional doses he said as quoted by ni india has reported as many as 22 cases of the new covid variant so far spreading concern across the country the first case was found in a 79 year old woman in kerala out of the total cases 19 have been detected in goa one in kerala and maharashtra each while deaths of one case are yet to be disclosed when while on saturday india reported a total of 752 cases in 24 hours clocking at the highest number of a single day rise since may 21st the number of active cases stood at 